Mobispa One, the mobile concrete batching plant by Spanos Industries. Mobispa One transport and installation instructions. Connecting the tractor to the Mobispa One. The plant is transported by means of an ordinary two axle tractor connecting air, braking, and electric systems. Connection is performed by means of the couplings located on the mixer. The flexible cables for connecting the brake air, 24 volt supply, and ABS systems are extensions running from the fixed part of the assembly. The front right side of the operator cabin hosts a fixed base for the 24 volt and ABS systems. The base with the quick connect fittings for the air brake system is located on the left side. Transport of the Mobispa 1. Before proceeding with transport, the following actions must be performed on the semi trailer. Check tire pressure. This should be 8.5 bar. Place the rotating amber beacon on the bumper of the trailer. Check that it is functioning properly. Check operation of directional brake and end outline marker lights. Check operation of brakes and braking system. Check that all systems loaded on the semi trailer are properly fastened. During transport, all the individual components of the ready mixed concrete batching plant are folded on the platform, which serves as the frame of the machine. All apparatus is properly arranged and fixed at various points of the platform. Preparing to install the Mobispa 1. The Mobispa 1 is accompanied by all the necessary materials and drawings required for installation. A crane with a hoisting capacity greater than 25 tons is required for the installation works. The Mobispa 1 is intended for installation primarily in spaces that have been suitably designated for the production of concrete. Execution of Mobispa 1 installation works. Place the machine in a temporary location near its final location so that the aggregate's storage compartment panels can be folded out. Assembling the storage compartments. Lift the center panel and temporarily fix it in place with the special arms. Remove all components from their transport positions. Continue with the side panel. After lifting it, temporarily fix it in place with the special pins. Continue with the rear panel. Also fix this in place with the special pins. Follow the same procedure for the front panel. Assemble the two internal partition panels, which are kept in place in the specially designated recesses by means of screws. Next, assemble the second side panel, and all components are in place. Finally, proceed with final tightening to complete assembly of the storage compartments.
Installing support legs. Move the machine to its exact location. Remove all components from the spaces designated for their storage during transport, that is, screw conveyor, concrete hopper, special shoes, and so forth. Remove all pedestals supporting all the above during transport. Disengage from the tractor and support the machine on its adjustable front legs after first placing the special shoes and support base in the following order. Remove movable shoes. Place fixed shoes. Assemble pins and lock in place. By means of the adjustable front legs, elevate the machine while giving it a backward slant. Elevate the machine with the adjustable rear legs and temporarily insert the metal bracket in place. Then, elevate the adjustable rear legs until the fixed shoes are put in place. After this, using all four adjustable legs, simultaneously elevate the machine until it approximately reaches its final position. Make certain that the bottom of the chassis is at a height of 1.5 meters from the level of the ground. Remove the temporary metal brackets from the rear side. Insert the center small metal brackets in place. Place the front metal brackets in their final position. Put the tightening grips for the adjustable legs and the struts in place. Tension the struts. Complete procedure with final tightening. Elevating the mixer to its operating position. Disconnect the plugs, extensions, connecting the brakes and electric system from the central panel to the fixed point on the machine. Make sure these are stored safely. Unscrew the platform restraining screws by removing the metal plate. Then unscrew the balcony restraining screws, fold out balconies and lock in final position with the screws. Place the designated wire ropes in the special locations and elevate the mixer. fold out the platform legs. Perform all final tightening necessary. The plate secures the lock and must definitely be assembled in place. Assemble struts. Use the stair for access to the operator cabin. Assemble access stair to mixer putting in place all protective arrangements and railings for its balcony. By means of a crane, remove the cement weigh bin from its transport position and place it in its final position on top of the mixer. Join the rails of the skip trolley at the specified locations, taking care to ensure continuity. The water meter is put in place and connected to the water tank by means of the water supply network, which uses industrial grade rubber hoses and tightening grips. All the above is included in the machinery equipment. Assemble the concrete hopper on the machine. Assemble the cement screw conveyor with the assistance of a crane. Finally, install and tighten all final apparatus so that the machine is ready for connection and final testing. Electrical installation. Connect the plugs on the cement weighing bin to the sockets. 
Next, connect the screw conveyor plugs to the sockets, which are on the mixer. If the machine's equipment includes a weigh bin for chemical additives, connect plugs to sockets. Finally, disengage the load cell restraining members from the respective weigh bins. Make sure these remain free to operate. Connect power and water supply. It is absolutely essential that the machine be earthed. A total of four points have been designated for connection of the copper earthing conductor. Checklist before first startup. Before connecting the machine to the power supply, the operator must make sure that the machine has been assembled correctly. The wire ropes protecting the machine against capsizing have been properly placed in the designated fastening points. The machine has been appropriately earthed. All warning signs are in place. All protective meshes are in the right place, as designated by the manufacturer. Access stairs are free of grease and lubricants to protect against slipping. All protective railings and parapets have been installed in the way specified by the manufacturer. The surrounding areas have been suitably arranged to prevent unauthorized persons from approaching the concrete batching operations. There is nobody under the machine. After all items on the checklist have been inspected, pre-operation checks are carried out and final adjustments made. These checks are performed with absolutely no material in the machine. The operator must open the central panel and run the batching assembly management program. Clear all weighing display apparatus by pressing zero. Check for correct and accurate operation of controls on the panel by trial run. The trial run is performed by activating the machine without feeding any aggregates or cement. He should also check that the electric gear reduction motors are rotating correctly. Emergency stop buttons, mushroom heads, are functional. Emergency stop switches for the conveyor belts are functional by test activating them. Production of concrete. Mobispa 1, the mobile concrete batching plant by Spanos Industries.